Now I want to go over a very simple practical example regarding passing arguments to threads and all the concepts that we learned so far. Um, so instead of having 10 threads, we're going to have only two. And what I want the program to do is very simple, is to sum up all the numbers in this, let's say, primes array. Okay. And to do this, well, technically, it's not that difficult. Uh, we have to just split it in half, right? We have half or the first half of the array is going to be sent to the first thread and the second half to the second thread. And then we're going to get back a value, a sum of all those numbers in the main thread. And then in the main thread, we're going to just uh, sum all the half sums together and we're going to get the final result. That's the basic gist of it. So how do we actually implement this? Well, the first step would be to change the number of threads. So we're going to have only two threads in this case, right? We're going to have only a four from, I guess, one to two. It's not, or zero to one. It's not going to be a very long lasting four, but it's going to be there. And we still need this malloc because we're going to pass some values to it. And we need to figure out what we add in here because I is definitely not correct, right? We want sort of what? We want to pass the, the start index from which we want to sum half of the array, right? So I want to the first thread to pass the index to the first element. So that's very simple. But to the second thread, I want to pass the index to the, not the second element, of course, but to the sixth element, right? So that Whenever we, we are here, we just sum five numbers, and then we are here, we just sum five numbers, and we're done. Okay. That means that what I have to do here is say, instead of just i, I'm going to have to say i times five. That means that when i is zero, we're just going to get zero, which is the first element in the array. And when i is one, right, because it only goes up to one, um, it's going to give you five which is the sixth element in the array. So that's perfect. Okay, so that's been taken care of. Now let's fix up this uh, whole mess. So we don't need, we don't really need the printf anymore, right? We don't want to print it really. We just need to create a sum. So I'm going to say here int sum equals zero and uh, let's create a for loop int i equals zero, i less than, well, we know we need five elements. This is hard coded, you can change it to as many elements as you want. If you have an array of 20, you can have here 10 and so on and so forth. I plus plus, and then sum plus equal primes, and then our index, but not quite because that index is just the initial index. It's gonna be always zero for the whole for loop. So we want to add this I in the mix as well. So if we got index zero, we are the first thread, we get zero plus zero is the first element, then zero plus one is the second one and so on and so forth. And to note here, this i inside this for loop is not at all the same as this one. Okay, so these are two separate places in memory, values, etc. In fact, I might as well just change this to a, to a j so that you actually know what's going on. Okay, now we have the sum, that's amazing, but how do we send it back? Well, remember, this is returning a void pointer. So what can we do in this situation? Well, there are two options, I guess. Um, we can malloc another place in memory and return that, while we also free our argument, or just return this uh, place in memory that we have already dynamically allocated, right? So this is a really good way of handling uh, dynamically allocated memory is by just passing it to the thread and make sure the thread returns it back so that you can then deallocate it in the main function. So now instead of calling free, we're actually going to make use of it after the thread has finished its execution and instead return arg. But of course not arg without its value changed because that's just our index. And I'm gonna have to say here arg equals sum. 
And I'm prob probably gonna have to cast it to, a, to an int pointer here. Yeah. And now that's gonna be correct. So the same exact syntax as ab above. And then you can return arg, but with a different value. And where do we get that value? Well, we get it right in here, in this second parameter, which we can define in here. We can just say, let's say R from result, right? And we don't have to give it any value because this guy takes in a reference to our uh, pointer, right? So if you take a look at the signature, it's a void double pointer. So you're just passing a reference to a pointer and this pointer is gonna be set to whatever we return here. Now that we have returned uh, our argument, well, in here, we know that we actually have inside R a pointer to the sum itself. So we can have here a variable called, let's say, let's call it global sum, initialize it with zero and just say, global sum plus equals the reference of R. And let's not forget to also free the memory. So a good rule of thumb is that wherever you have an M alloc, you should have the same number of free calls, right? Right now we don't have any free calls, so that's bad. We have like two M allocs, one for each I. So I'm gonna call here a free of our R here that has been passed around, right? So this guy has been allocated here, passed through the pthread create, passed in here, and then return back in here, inside R, and just, uh, we just thread the value from it, and then we freed that memory. So now if we try to, well, I guess first we should print at the global sum, percent d backslash n and just say global sum and if i try to run this you're gonna notice the global sum is 129 and that is actually correct if you go to google and you try to sum all this up it's just gonna give you 129. now to also make sure that everything is right let's do a printf statement in here as well so let's print f local sum um, percent d backslash n sum. And now if I try to run this, we should get two different sums and 28 and 101, two plus three is five, 10, 17, and that's 28, that's correct. Then this is 30, 49, 72 and 101. Okay, so these are the correct answers. It's it's perfect, it's working so far. Amazing. Uh, there we have one warning here. I guess we should, yeah, let's cast this to avoid double pointer to avoid any warnings. That should be fine now if I launch this again. Yep, and there you have it. You have your sum computed in a multi-threaded fashion. And that's really all there is to this. Um, there are other solutions, of course. So really, instead of returning the local sum, we could have just summed it all up in the thread uh, here, but then we would have needed to use uh, a mutex and uh, we ha had to have our sum global as a global variable. So this was, I feel like a nicer implementation but definitely you can try and do that and that would be interesting to see and well if you do have any questions leave them down in the comments below or on our discord server of course the code is going to be found on our uh, website which link to it you're gonna see down in the description below thank you so much for watching take care bye